Welcome to Analytics with Max. In this video, I'm going to talk about Power BI release January 2025. As usual, I'm go not going to talk all the features that has been released. I will cover some of the key features that I like most and I'm going to use as part of my day to day job. With this note, let's begin. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification. Features I like. Explore this data, meaning like uh, you have a visual and um, you can uh, click on three dots and then there is an option called explore this data. I'll show it uh, while uh, I'm doing in um, web. Enhancement to the textualizer. Uh, you can add multiple uh, text searches, not even a single search. Let's say uh, my name starts with Naga. You also need to search with someone with uh, Ganesh or uh, Job. Uh, so naga john and uh, ganesh so all the three uh, texts you can able to search here power bi new reset behavior uh, this is not a power bi it's basically powerpoint uh, new reset behavior what it does is if you have embedded a report in your uh, powerpoint if there is any changes to the power bi services uh, uh, in your report right then this will break so it will not automatically sync usually we will um, uh, re-embed uh, clear that uh, power uh, bi embedded in the powerpoint then again re-embed that right now this feature when you have this option set reset behavior whatever in the latest version in the services that will be synced here semantic model version history in the um, power bi uh, services it's a very good feature i hope uh, we can start uh, uh, using this like this is very important because once your model changes are done in the services it is permanent if you do a mistake you don't know what went wrong you need to recall so version history will always help us to restore it TMDL scripting experience, uh, so tabular model definition language, TMDL stands for, meaning like going forward, I see like um, you no need to uh, do the modeling, all the table creation as part of the uh, your um, uh, Power BI. What you can do is you can do the some scripting over here, uh, like programming language, right? Then you can create your own model. That is what I can uh, sense it as part of this TMDL approach. I'm going to make some detailed analysis after I explore. Uh, I don't want to just uh, walk through this uh, mm, uh, without having a complete understanding. So once I am familiar with this, I will make a clear uh, understanding when to use it, how you can use it in your projects. So with this note, uh, let's begin like this channel contains a free content that covers um, MSBI, Power BI, Fundamentals of Azure and SQL as well. Use this free content, share this channel with friends and colleagues. Let's see what are the features I like uh, from the beginning. Like as I told, uh, explore this data option, meaning like you can see in your visual when you click on these three dots you can have explore this data now this will provide you option to change any of the visual type from here you can change it to matrix or you can drag and drop additional columns if you want so this is what you are going to do as part of this explore this data and um, next is like uh, it all storytelling in powerpoint new reset behavior if you see here sync with power bi view this view whatever in the power bi that will be synced when you are uh, uh, embedding uh, your power bi report in the powerpoint this option you need to start choosing it then the future i like here is like the third future the enhancement to the textualizer meaning like as you can see there is a toggle button accept multiple values you need to turn it on then you can accept multiple values as i said before naga ganesh john whatever um, uh, text like condition you are providing that will be uh, searched and then displayed this is very good feature this stream app and all uh, will cover it later and the fourth feature i told is like semantic model version history where you can able to edit your semantic model in your services so this future 
uh, after enable like the after January this is in preview right now so you can start seeing the previous history version history so that you can restore the or previous version earlier it was permanent even now it's permanent but the only option right now we get is we can able to restore it earlier we can't able to restore anything now um, we have um, other option over here <coughs> So TMDL scripting experience, uh, which is, as I told before, tabular model definition language, improving development efficiency, right? Uh, providing complete visibility over semantic model metadata. Meaning like earlier, if you create a relationship and uh, that, uh, other things, everything is a GUI, meaning you can drag and drop. So uh, when the Power BI modeling becomes complex, we need some programming uh, language so that some scripting, when we write some program in Python or uh, .NET to generate this model using a TMDL, right? That will be a separate topic, um, how you can able to programmatically create um, TMDL files. Uh, I will make it once I am familiar with that as I told, but for now, and this view is available for you to easily edit it, right? Someone who doesn't prefer to do it in GUI, they can use this TMDL view to edit it and it will be very easy because sometimes the format you have set here, you need to apply for all the meshes. You can just copy paste this formatting string and apply it or something with search string, right? These kind of things you can able to do it right now. So I think uh, these are the features I like as part of uh, this release. If you like this video and um, if you need any new contents, comment below so that I can make it for you. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification. And do remember that data is your asset.